Hey everybody, what's up? So in his recent community questions guide, Asian Sleepy asks, number 35, do you prefer linear games or open world games? As an RPG player, personally, I prefer open world games. I love the ability to go out and explore um, new areas, always looking for side quests to do, or just overall enjoying the environment. Sorry, <laughs> have cat behind the camera. She's manning it today. She's my little helper. Um, but yeah, I mean, linear-based games, I don't mind playing those. I think Sam and Max and maybe Phoenix Wright or Leisure Suit Larry would be examples of three linear-based games that I enjoy playing. But I really don't play them that much. Um, another reason why I prefer open-world games really is just the amount of time that you can spend and get lost in them. Just, you know, wandering around a map, you know, finding new monsters to battle. Uh, for example, in Bravely Default, you can actually, if you go to certain places, you can, uh, I'm trying to remember where it exactly was, I haven't played it for a while, you can actually gain a new character class. And, which is really cool, but I wouldn't have known about it if I hadn't been there. Now, unfortunately, I admit that I didn't find out about it until I read it, and it was too late to get the class, but, you know, it's one of those things. Or if you look at Final Fantasy Tactics, you know, that's a great example of an open-world game. Not only do you have different character classes that you can switch between, you have the different jobs you can do, uh, different little, you know, quests you can send your people, you know, your team on. So it's really a fun thing to do. There's a downside, though, to open world games, which is sometimes they can suck up a lot of time, and I do mean a lot of time. Um, some of them do have you grinding quite a bit, and that grinding, unfortunately, does detract from the game. Um, if you have a game like Lacrimosa Donna, for example, which a friend of mine has played repeatedly, you know, you have... You know, different areas that not only can explore on an island, but some of the quests require for you to go to certain places just to finish it. You know, there's the fishing quest, for example. The downside is the Vita version doesn't have all the quests that you can do in the game. If you have like a PC, PS4, PS5, they need to put the game on the Xbox. They really do. Um, so there is that games like Kingdom of Hearts where you can go between worlds you know that's a great example of another open world type game but all these games do also have a story to them as well now if you just have a game where you just go guns a blazing you know you're gonna have a linear game where like Doom where you just go through killing everything in sight or bullet hell game you know so for some of us that's just another thing and there are P R R P G style games that you can play that are linear based but for the most part, yeah, I'm going to go with my open world. One of the best things actually for me about open world games really is the fact that not only is it fun to just, you know, explore, but also finding secrets, you know, areas that you never thought you'd find in the game. Versus with a linear based game, you know, sometimes you're actually just rooted in one spot, so there's really not a whole lot to find or do. You don't have that... You know that desire to explore you just go okay I'm gonna go from point A to point B and that's fine if you know that's something you enjoy but for me it's not um, you know Phoenix Wright for example and you have different you have one story to <coughs> me but you have different stories strung out through it that all eat go to the same goal and you're very limited on you know where you can explore and I understand that some people view it as a graphic uh, novel type game but for me it's a linear story game simply because of the fact that you do have this one story you have to complete no matter what even though like you know you can think of each chapter as a quest or a mission but that's just my take on it talk to y'all later take care and I'll post a link as always to sleepy's channel below have a great night bye